Mark Tronson from the Australian Missionary News. I have here with me today Peter Nelson, the Australian Institute of Sport Chaplain for 20 years. Now Peter, in those first years at the AIS, how did you uh, uh, um, develop that? Well, uh, Mark, thank you for that question. Uh, Ken Bond from Sydney, who was chaplain to the Western Suburbs Rugby League, used to come down to Canberra and he pioneered the work at the AIS. I learned from him and I followed him and I'm very grateful for all that he, he did. Okay, now, um, what would be uh, 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 just your daily routine? Uh, Mark, I try to get down there early and go and visit all the sports that are at the Institute. There are nine in all and I go and look at their training, talk to the players during their breaks and also catch up with their coaches. And that takes me from early morning until late in the afternoon. Wow! So that's a, a, just a huge time, time allotment. Well, it's a uh, it's, it's very enjoyable time. Yes, too. okay. Now, you were one of the chaplains at the Atlanta Olympics. Can you uh, uh, share with us some of those experiences? Well, it's a long time ago now and uh, <laughs> we've moved on. But uh, it was a wonderful um, experience for myself. Um, we ministered to all the athletes uh, in the Olympic Village and we had some wonderful times with athletes, especially those from poorer nations. From the third world kind of nations. Indeed, yes. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, on one occasion, the team from the Comoros Islands uh, found that they had no suitable track shoes to, to race. They only had their street shoes. It's the first time they'd entered the games and through um, another chaplain there, Madeline Manning Minns, uh, who herself was a gold medalist in 1976 and she um, went to the United States track and field team, put out a large box and asked them to contribute any shoes or equipment that they might have that could be helpful and she brought a huge box of, of singlets, shorts, shoes and it was a wonderful time to see it handed over to the Comoros Island athletes. So, uh um, so, uh, so, so the chaplaincy isn't just about prayers, it is really about doing uh, e e evangelical work just by our deeds. Well, it, it certainly tries in a very practical way to show the grace of our Lord Jesus. Wonderful. Now, Peter, uh, in 1992, Delma and I opened Basil Sellers Maruya for the athletes from the AIS in Canberra to have respite. Can you tell us something about that now? Uh, yes, it's a, it's a wonderful facility and it's uh, greatly appreciated by athletes at the Institute in Canberra. Teams go down there, individuals go down there and they're refreshed. They come back all excited because they've had time out down at Maruya. <laughs> and um, uh, during a period when many uh, athletes from overseas came here, the trip to Maria was a real highlight for them. <laughs> yes, it was too, because we had many of them, didn't we? We certainly did, did yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now, in that time down in Maria, we would spend about an hour with them, with the Bible opened, and uh, some of them had some uh, deep questions, and they'd come back and ask you. Yes, yes, they would indeed, and uh, I was very pleased that uh, their, their minds were opened up and their hearts were opened, through that ministry at Maria. Wonderful. Now, now, uh, now Peter, not only are there elite uh, uh, athletes at the AIS and coaches, but a number of these are Christian young people. How do you provide for the Christian young people? Uh, well, it's very important to do that, Mark, because their training schedules, their um, team schedules take them away from Canberra a lot. Um, often they're required to go overseas, so it's very important for us to get alongside them, uh, pray with them and for them, and to offer them help while they're overseas, often through devotional books, through email, and through contact um, with them. And uh, it's very important to support them and let them know that 
uh, through sport they can bring glory to God. Now, uh, one of the really important things that we emphasise to the chaplains was that although they might have a small group of Christians within their orbit, their ministry is to everybody. How, do you, how have you been able to handle that? Oh, well, I think that's a really important aspect of, of chaplaincy, to be able to, uh, to reach out to everyone. Jesus said that the Father lets the sun shine on the good and the bad, and the rain fall upon the just and the unjust. And he wants us to show his grace and bring refreshing blessing to everyone we meet. And that's what we try to do. Well, Peter Nelson, I thank you so much. This is Mark Johnson signing off for the Australian Missionary News.